inspection for my hot dog cart today. And I figured that would be a good time to do the video about my commissary. So we are headed there now. My commissary is a local restaurant. Just a quick disclaimer. I'm pretty familiar with all of our local ordinances and laws here in Northern California. I live in Contra Costa County. Um, but that does not mean that I know everything. That means that I'm vaguely familiar with the laws in the state of California and even less familiar with the laws across the rest of the country. So I will give you the information that I have been given and I have researched on my own and been able to find for my business purposes. I'm not trying to be held responsible for somebody taking my word as the law. So the town I live in is pretty small. We don't have a food truck commissary really in town. There's one kind of on the outskirts of town, but it's still a little bit far out for me. And it's, you know, my, my cart is pretty small. So it's kind of, it's hard for me to pay as much as a lot of these commissaries want. They want a thousand dollars. This little hot dog cart just doesn't produce that kind of volume so it's silly to me to pay that much money to keep it out of commissary not to mention the commissaries that are available to me are in concord or stockton which are half an hour from where i live and the road is really rough so dragging this little itty bitty delicate hot dog cart across 30 miles of rough road there and back every day before i do any shift was just crazy and like totally out of question for me so so we came down to our favorite local breakfast place and we asked the owner if he would be willing to consider letting me pay for a commissary permit and then build a small gate um, so that I could put my cart in the back there and that I could use the restaurant as a commissary. All food trucks and carts have to be stored at a commissary overnight, every night. They have to be cleaned there, refilled with fresh water. You dump your gray water there, you do all your dishes, your food prep, everything that's can be done for a food truck is usually done at a commissary. I don't know if it's like that in all 50 states. I know it's like that here in California and there are like very, very few exceptions. I think the only way you can do it without a commissary is if you're special events permits only. And even then that's like really rare occasions. So every year I submit my commissary application for this little hometown restaurant and we pay the fee for the commissary application and then we lease a spot from the owner he charges me a very reasonable rate and it makes a lot more sense for this size cart here it is some of the best breakfast in town at Brentwood cafe my husband and I actually had our first date here he was working swing shift at the time so breakfast worked out better it's a really cute quaint little small town diner with rustic farm town decorations and articles and pictures from our town on the walls this is where I dump my gray water, do all my dishes, and store them when they're clean. This is my little spot. This is the gate that protects it when we're gone. So we just open the gate, we put the cart right in there. It's crooked right now because the health inspector is going to be here any minute to give us a, an inspection, but it just fits in this nice little spot back here, and then we can use whatever we need in the inside. Um, dishes wise and gray water dump station and fresh water fill. In addition to the gate, we did install some floodlights. They are motion activated and some cameras. So we can see what's going on here at all times, just in case. But the best part is the welcoming committee. Here's Paul all the way on the right, the owner and the gentleman we hang out with. Good morning, gentlemen. So I really lucked out with this video and was able to access my security cam footage so that I can kind of show you how my inspection went and all of the steps to set up um, just to get health inspection ready. We're not cooking food today. We just want to make sure that the health inspector sees everything he needs to see. The key things they're looking for in this inspection is making sure that our water is getting hot enough to get things to the proper cooking temperature. He's making sure that our fridge is cold enough he wants to verify that we have enough fresh water and we have enough wastewater space, which is what you see me putting in there. He's also going to make sure that my hand washing sink gets above 120 degrees for at least 20 seconds and that everything is properly enclosed and stored correctly. 
Since the health department is about 30 minutes away, he's also going to do my commissary inspection while he's here and possibly even the restaurant's inspection so that they can renew their permit as well. Out of respect for the health inspector's privacy, I didn't show his face or the whole inspection, but you do see his hat kind of pop into the frame for just a minute. Also, I think it's important to note that this fridge I'm carrying here was not approved because it is not NSF certified and we did have to go back to the old fridge for operations. Some health inspectors would fail you for it, but because we have a good relationship and trust, he just wrote it down as a contingency for the operating permit. Well, we passed our health inspection and we're all good to go. So I'm gonna lock this gate up and show you what it looks like when it's sitting behind me. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to keep up with us and see what we come up with next.